This video is for you if you want to learn how to unlock your full potential of self-love and manifest the life of your dreams. Hi sunshine, welcome to Bloom Light. My name is Leticia and I hope people remember how powerful they are and how they can create the life of their dreams. But before we get into today's video, make sure you check out the description box where I share a free PDF ritual that you can use as a tool on your healing journey. Among other things if you stay into the end of this video you will be receiving some reiki healing energy plus a meditation that could benefit you and of course i share videos every week so make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification button so you can be notified or alert alert i meant to say that so you can be alert anytime i upload new content <laughs> let's get into it have you been struggling with self-love and self-worth? I want to tell you, honey, it's it's okay. It's normal. It's going to pass. We all go through this. It's the only way we grow, we learn, we discover who we truly are. What we love is by having these emotions. Just let, let life flow. And I want to celebrate you and hold space for you. Because if you click the button on this video and you listening to what I'm talking about, that means that you have chosen you. You have chosen to love you and you have chosen to create the life that you deserve. And I know it could be challenging because some of us didn't grow up in healthy homes. We didn't learn or receive the love when we were little. We grow up not feeling loved, not feeling worthy. Situations that happen in our surroundings and or traumatic, traumatic events that happen in our life that puts us in that low vibration and doubt who we are. Or even the people around us, the society, they have so much expectation for oneself people are constantly telling you you know how to be happy how to behave what's right what's wrong society itself even in social media when you log in is all these type of concepts of how happiness should be and that's gonna impact your subconscious mind because you always gonna be a reflection of what you expose yourself to you know you can create a false a false representation of who you are if that's the word that i want to use you know a false self-image is the word i'm looking at a false self-image and i understand you a hundred percent because i've been there i want to share this oh my god if i talk to share there's so many things i could share on this video because that's one of the things well not one part a lot of strong issues that i've been having is with self love and self-worth through all my entire life if you have seen my previous videos you know i grew up in a broken home um separated from my mother for almost 20 years and she didn't grow up in my life at that time when i was younger she was a at that time she was a drug abuser then i raised up with my dad and he was also a drug abuser so i just you know grow up basically alone me and my brother the best we could so I grew up not respecting myself, not loving myself, not knowing my self-worth. So that was the mentality that I had. And I attracted into my life a lot of situations and people that would test my theory of what I believed about myself. Like for instance, my ex-husband, um, this was many years ago, my first husband. Um, when we used to have altercations, I, I share this story because it's one of the ones that impacted me a lot. When we used to have misunderstandings or arguments, one of the things that he always said, always said, is that, oh, that I was never going to find nobody to love me or to love me like him. And by him saying this over and over and over, he was like affirming the thoughts that I already had about myself. So it took me a lot of time to, to break myself free from this, to choose me, to, to realize how worthy and how loved I am and that that's not him. Probably he, I feel like now I feel that a lot of people that hurt me, they didn't really mean it because they on their self, they on their own um, self journey. So they look only going to act according to their beliefs, to their system of what is right and wrong. It had nothing to do with me. Of course, we, we came across our journeys because we both had something to learn. We both, in a sense, hurt each other, but it's because of the way we was frequently thinking at that time. Another situation that I faced a lot with society is being a mother. Oh my God. I used to think that being a mom was the worst thing. As much as I love my children, but these are things that truly happen. If you're a single parent, you can understand what I'm saying. Whether you're a male or female, it doesn't matter. Um... So we live in a society that, that 
tells females who have because i have five kids and teach us that oh female who has five kids she's not worth it nobody's gonna love her her life is just doom there's gonna be no progress and again more situations into my life that affirmed my self view my self love my self worth um i remember one time a couple years back i was working i had got hired in a cardiologist's office and i had an interview with the doctor and he asked me you know what was where did i see myself in five years the famous question where do you see yourself in five years and i explained to him you know that i had plans that i was in the process of getting into school to become a physician assistant which is a pa and blah 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 we kept the conversation when i finished talking he told me in my face that i should just quit school because it's too late for me i'm a mother and the position that i was getting in that moment was the best i could do i was like what the fuck? sorry for the language but what the fuck? It's like things over and over and over. And where I want to come with this is to to bring this awareness into you that whatever your reality looks like, wherever you're feeling that you don't love yourself or you're not worth it, is all an illusion of your thoughts, honey. That's all it is. Once you start to work on your spirit, oh, this video goes with the previous video that I have, three things that I do to raise my vibration. Along this video with self-love, you work on your spirit, your mind, your body, you elevate yourself, you raise your vibrations, and your mind starts, start, starts to think, you know, process in a different way. You start to see your value, all the things that you want to accomplish. You find your life purpose. So just my suggestion to you is to go in. Whatever you think you right now is not true, my love. I'm telling you, it is not true. You are beautiful and you're amazing. You are a human being, a love of light. So all of that, let's put it behind. Starting forward from today, I want you to affirm again and again how you love yourself and how amazing you are. Some of the practices that you can start doing to put yourself in the vibration of self-love and self-worth is to develop a spiritual practice practice whatever that means for you however you are connected to mother nature to the universe to god whatever you call it start this spiritual practice that suits you so you can start open up and healing wake up in the mornings set an attention every morning when you wake up say thank you because gratitude is gratitude and love are the highest frequencies vibrational healing tools of attraction there is on this entire universe planet and reality so wake up in the morning and good morning i good morning say your name because i do i say good morning leticia you know let's today let's have an amazing day you know set an intention what do you want to feel that day for instance like some of the intentions i do when i wake up i said today is, i'm gonna have a happy day today i'm gonna smile and laugh today whatever room i walk into i'm just gonna be the light of that room the center the center of attraction with my beauty with my feminine energy you know just feel it feel that feel that emotion within yourself start reprogramming your mind using you know affirmations that that guide you into self-worth worth sorry self-compassion um self-love you know like uh, uh, start start there's oh that's what i wanted to share with you i almost split it because this is something that i do often as i started to reprogram myself and self-love and self-worth i use a lot you know meditation and part that you can use in your spiritual practice meditate on self-love and how you want to feel about yourself but back to the to the technique that i want to share before i lose it so when all of this was happening, I came aware of the negative talks that I that I used to tell myself. Like, let's say, for instance, I'll drop something. I'll be like, oh, my God, Leticia, you're so stupid. Cancel clear. I'm not stupid. Cancel clear. I am a human being. It fell in the floor. I pick it up and keep it moving. There is no reason of why I should tell myself a negative word just for something that is so common because you could drop or forget something all the time. You're human, honey. We this is what we do. So as I noticed, I started slowly. I forgot where I got this concept from. I don't know if it was from Andale Showman. I don't remember. The thing is that I learned this technique that Anytime you you hear a word that doesn't resonate with you or you hear a word that you don't want to have in your life, like a word of lack of, of 
criticism with yourself, you say cancel clear. Cancel clear and you're firm quickly. Like let's say the same example I use, I drop something and I, I'll say cancel clear. I am amazing. I am only human. If it dropped in the floor, I already said this, but here we go again. <laughs> I dropped in the floor. I pick it up and that's it. Keep it moving because I am amazing. I am smart and I love me and period, period. You know, you start with these things and it comes so strong that even when I hear people talk about lack of money or lack of health or whatever, and I'm talking about something in the back of my head, I am constantly cancel clear, cancel clear. I am abundant. I have a lot of money. Money flows to me. I am love. People love me. I love people. I flow with life. I flow with love. You know, start this little concept. And the beginning is challenging because I used to forget a lot. But the more I did it, the more. And now wherever I'm at and I hear something that doesn't vibrate with me, cancel clear in my head and i put a statement affirmation that resonates with me find your own affirmation what is that affirmation that you can use share it in the description box because i'd like to know probably i could grab somebody else stronger than mine say an affirmation that that resonates with you something that you want to attract into your life i would love to see that another technique that i want to share probably you have heard about it before is the mirror i don't know how well, any of you sometimes when you're crying and you're going through a situation and you just stand in that mirror to see how pretty you look while you cry or if you look ugly or what expression to take i'm telling you us human beings were something because i had done it a thousand times but when i want to come with the mirror is when you do that somehow when you look at yourself like the emotion that you was going through anger sadness whatever like start to decrease i started to notice in that like every time i cry i'll stand in the mirror and i'll start looking at my angles oh i can't cry this angle i can't cry this angle and somehow whatever i was and it's been really serious situations where i've been crying and i still stand up in the mirror and this happened to me somehow like the energy just flows and i start to to feel a little better so the same way you do that i want to encourage you to stand in the mirror and look at yourself Look at your lips, your eyes, your ears, your features, your hair. Look at you. See how beautiful you are. See how unique you are. And affirm, I am one of a kind. I am amazing. I love myself. Look how pretty you are. You know, talk to yourself. Either you're a male or a female, it doesn't matter because you're still human and and love self loving yourself and talking sweet words to yourself is so powerful is one of the best things you could do to yourself the best way to love yourself is to start transforming that and that the mirror thing is powerful if you haven't heard all day i love you stand up in that mirror and you say your name because i do it i stand up in the mirror i say leticia flores i love you because you are amazing and you have overcome so much and i'm so proud of you so proud of you leticia so do the same try it try it i want you to try it and see how it feels for you it might be so challenge challenging but it might not you might like it and you might do it so let's get into that practice of self-love okay so now you may be thinking okay she said all of this but what this has to do with me creating the life of my dreams honey it has to do everything it has to do with everything let me tell you why because once you start opening up to self-love self-worth you develop such confidence and such power in yourself that you no longer put yourself in situations that could bring you down you dismiss yourself immediately if a person comes through a situation comes through that you know that is not gonna elevate your spirit you dismiss you'll be like sorry bye bye out and that right there is so powerful when you are attuned with yourself and your words and you know what you want in life and you know that one thing cannot contribute to you and knowing that you can walk away before it gets worse. Let me tell you, I salute every being who has that capability, including myself, because I there was a time I didn't. Now, I don't play. Now, if you come disturbing my peace and you can elevate me or I can elevate you, Bye bye, honey. We have nothing to do. And that's one of the powerful tools that you get when you self love. And how this, how this, uh, you know, how this um, comes into mix with manifestation because your vibration elevates. And when you no longer put yourself in situations that don't serve you, you open the door 
for attraction because you become so attracted to the things that you deserve that you love you step into your power you know that you are worthy of that thing that you want to attract in your life so automatically you're going to start doing things that's going to take you on that journey little manifestations are going to stop coming in to to raise your vibration to encourage you to keep going to give you the strength to keep going and you're going to see more positive things people who are aligned more with your thoughts start to come in you know you become a receiver you start to receive the the things that that you like because when you are lack you reject the 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 blessings but when you in your highest vibe like you love yourself and you know what you're worthy of you start to receive you start to flow with life you just create this beautiful attraction energy around you that everything just falls in your lap there's still gonna be challenging moments but now the difference is that you will know to differentiate which ones is gonna elevate you and which ones you could dismiss yourself from because there's some challenges that you can't avoid there have to happen for growth the reason you're watching this video right here is because of the challenges you've been you know there's something gotta change in you so it kind of is, is a blessing in a way it's in a blessing because it shaped you to to understand that you deserve more that what you're living right now is not it so you want to find things that can elevate and put you in that vibration to attract in all that you deserve and you desire. So honey, I want to invite you. Start flowing with life. Start letting life be as it is right now. You know, understand that you are worthy of your dreams. Start working on those manifestations so they could come in. Because let me tell you, you look how beautiful you are. Look how amazing you are. I wish I could just see your pure smile because I'm pretty sure it could light up an entire room of how amazing and beautiful you are, not just in the physical, in the inside, because you're love. Your spirit, your unique spirit is love, honey. Complete love. Embrace it. Feel it. Give it and receive it. Allow yourself to, to love yourself allow yourself to give yourself compassion and sweet words no more self-doubting no more ugly talks to yourself give yourself permission to flow to grow to attract let give yourself permission to receive that thing that you want to manifest my love okay so now let's get into our portion of the video where i share the reiki healing energy and i guide you through a meditation and this meditation was going to be focused on love, pure love. So let's get started. Now I want you to sit comfortably. Relax your body. Focus right now on your breathing. Don't force the breath. You could take a deep breath in just to release the stress all over your body. You could twist your head just to release. Let the breath go to where you're feeling stressed right now and just relax there. Now, I do want you to take a deep breath in and exhale and release. Now, I want you to close your eyes and with your eyes closed, I want you to take another deep breath in. Now for this last breath in, I want you to take deep in, hold, and then exhale with a sigh as loud as you can so you can release. Hold and release and affirm I let go. Now we're gonna call in our angels. I call in the angels of the highest love and light. Our angels and guardian angels and spirit guides to guide us in this beautiful meditation to connect to the energy of love. So we could be a pure expression of love and connect with our inner self and awaken that little fire passion inside of us that connects us to it all. Thank you. Thank you. 
Now I want you to place one hand in your heart and one hand in your sacral area next to your belly button. And I'm gonna start sending you Reiki energy. So now take a deep breath in through your heart chakra and out through your, your, your sacral area. There we go. Take another deep breath in through your heart and exhale through your sacral. One last time, another deep breath through your heart and exhale through your sacral. Now connect these two chakras, these two energy together. Feel them. Just feel them in your body. There we go. Good job. Now I'm going to say love. What does your body feel when you hear the word love? Where do you feel the vibration? And what part of your body? Now try to listen for any messages that love has for you there we go good job now self-love where do you feel this vibration and what part of your body oh break through that just break through that there we go There we go, honey. Okay. Now I want you to take some more deep breath in and affirm I am love. I am a pure expression of love. And I am worthy of love and abundance. And today I choose me. I choose to be happy. I choose to be in peace. And so it is. Okay. Now I want you to come back to your body. Open up. There we go. Now, after when you're done with this video, I want you to take a paper and write down in a paper three affirmations that you could use right now for self-love. Or three thoughts that came through you right now when you heard this, the word love. And I want you to apply them every day. Every day, every day until you get used to it. My wishes for you, honey, is that you find self-love. And you find your way into your life purpose and creating the dream, the life of your dreams, sorry. Because you deserve it, sunshine. You deserve it all. So I want to remind you to check the description box so you can check out the PDF that I have created, which is a ritual that you can use as a tool on your healing journey. And of course, I post videos every week. So make sure that you subscribe and hit the little bell so you could be notified anytime I upload new content. I love you. Thank you for watching, honey. I'm sending you love and light. Kisses. Bye bye, sunshine. Till next time.